Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Cancers, it's a cuddly morning. Let's do your daily love update, right? <laughs> I love cuddly mornings, man. I'm telling you. Um, it's cold outside, and, and you know, I've got my, my nice, soft, really soft sweater on, ready to rock and roll. Um, I hope you guys are nice and cozy, too. Um, thank you, Cancers for all of your support, man, all the likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. And I am going to get to more of the fan readings, guys, okay? I'm breaking them up into elements, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, because there's so many requests right now. Um, so yeah, look for the Cancer versus and then the element that your person sign is in, okay? those fan readings more of them are coming out um and uh this reading here this is for the collective it's not going to resonate with with all of you okay so just take what does resonate and toss out what doesn't um don't ever try to squish any reading into your world right um okay cancers i did get I did get uh, some oracle cards out just to kind of get a feel of your energy. Um, I feel like right now is manifestation time and I feel like you really need to focus, right? Focus. Focus on keeping your thoughts as pure as white snow. <laughs> right? Your thoughts as pure as white snow, Cancer. You know, that's what you have to do. You have to keep your thoughts pure right now. Uh, focus on the things that you want. Try to keep out any of this negativity, okay? Um, it's always going to creep back in. It feels like it creeps back in. Um, but try to free yourself from it or release. I feel like this person here is releasing, okay? But yeah, keep your thoughts pure because... Um, you're manifesting here a lot of abundance and whatever it is that you've been working on, whatever creative this is creating here, this is creation, right? Um, I kind of see this as Mother Earth here. Um, as whatever it is that you're creating, a creative project or it could be a family, um, that kind of thing. Um, it's, it's starting to whatever you're creating now um, is coming to fruition, meaning you're about to be very abundant, abundance here, okay? <sighs> it's very exciting, Cancer, because I can tell you, you are creating this just with your focus here and the ideas that you have, how you want to transform your future, that kind of thing you're looking forward okay looking forward into the future and i'm loving it um you're growing something here that's all yours that you're being very creative with and you may feel like it's taking too much time okay like there hasn't been as much growth as you would think in this amount of time listen it it's gonna take what it takes okay the divine has you on a path you know, when I first when I first started the channel, you know, you start off, you show yourself and you may be nervous, you know, um, as you go along, your true personality blossoms and blooms. OK, and so does um, people that follow you, that come towards you, that are drawn towards your light, your energy. OK, you attract you're going to be attracting um, eyes on you and on whatever it is that you're creating it just it's all in divine timing here and the effort you put in and what you focus on okay try not to focus on the negative when the negative comes in try if you can to push it out and and think about the things that you want to come towards you okay because right now you're not chasing anything you're attracting Things You're attracting things and opportunity and people towards you. You're not, you're sitting here contemplating, focused, hopefully on pure thoughts, right? Okay, and you're attracting 
things towards you. A lot of abundance here too. And that growth with whatever it is that you're creating, it's going to come, okay? Just, just keep plugging on. Keep showing yourself, all right? And whatever you're doing, all right? Um, also, I'm, I'm seeing that you guys should probably focus on what it is that you're putting into your body, okay? Um, drink more water. I'm seeing a lot of water here, and we've been saying it in the readings across the board. Um, eat the right things. I'm, I don't see any meat here, right? And I don't know why that is, but that is kind of a flag for me. So I'm seeing a, like, um... Fruits and vegetables and water and maybe eggs um, and uh, bread. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, but I mean, I'm not a dietitian, so if you need any advice in that, um, find somebody you can trust that can keep you covered with all the nutrients you need. But I'm feeling like maybe um, either you already are or you should start eating a lot healthier. And drink more water, Cancer. Okay? Drink more water. Um, yeah, as I say that, here's a cup, right? Um, but this one has a fish in it. Cancer, I feel like um, somebody wants to apologize to you for something. Somebody wants to talk to you. Um, they, This is taking a leap of faith here in your direction. What is this card? I feel like this is somebody who may have, like... Um, immature communication they may uh, do some impulsive things too this may be com impulsive communication or even something from some younger people communication between um, I don't know maybe two teenage boys two teenage girls I feel like um, I feel like somebody has immature communication here. You could be dealing with the Pisces or an Aries, Aquarius. I've got fire signs out here too, Sagittarius. I feel like this person, whoever this is, is coming in to communicate. Uh, you're going to get some kind of truth, whether it's um, like it could be someone else. Uh, like you could hear it through the grapevine kind of thing, right? Um, but I'm actually seeing someone coming and apologizing. Maybe, maybe this is one, you know, somebody young. Hey, I'm sorry. I heard that blah, blah, blah is blah. This is, it's going to be the truth though. It's going to bring clarity to the situation here. I, I, someone's out in the cold. Somebody, some, I feel like somebody wants to communicate with you. You're going to get some kind of news. You're going to get some kind of clarity. Um, they, may, uh, they may even be low on their money. They may need a place to live. They may have really poor health. You may hear something about a health issue of somebody that's, you know, that you care about. They want to come in and tell you how they feel about you. They don't want to be out in the cold anymore. All right, what else can you show me for cancer? I feel like this person has been like working on their pentacles, growing their money, right? Um, they could even be like, uh, let's say they maybe they got a new job or something and they're learning that trade, um, something like that, right? Uh, they could also be watching you here, kind of studying you, but I'm kind of seeing that they're working on their pentacles, um, working on their money, on their finances, yeah. This is a king of pentacles here. I feel like this person's low on their finances. They may feel like they don't have a lot to offer you with this fish in this cup because they've been so immature. Um... I feel like they followed someone else here right out into the cold. We've got sabotage here. Clarify that. Clarify the five of swords for me, please. Yeah, I feel like um, 
either this person's immaturity, um, they, uh, you know, maybe they just didn't know how to love at the time. I'm not really sure. Um, but you're in Empress energy here, Cancer, man. This is you. Um, every queen in the deck, right? Um, I feel like you were highly underestimated here and this connection was like sabotaged. Maybe somebody was talking about you behind your back. That's kind of what I'm feeling like here. I feel like somebody talked about you behind your back. And here, clearly, it was all a bunch of crap. Because you're every queen in the deck here, very intuitive, high vibing, very responsible, independent, self-sufficient. You know your worth. You're very um, financially stable here because of this creative project that we were talking about, right? This is you, Empress, and look, you're even kind of standing the same way. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's you, Cancer, being very abundant out here and single, creating something. Um, yeah, this person, I feel like, I feel like they, they're sinking into work maybe right now because... Um, They know this connection was sabotaged, a connection with an empress who happens to be intuitive. I feel like this is you too here. This is you, Cancer. The high priestess energy. Very intuitive, very connected to the divine, very spiritual, whatever it is that you're working on. Um, you're growing abundant because of it, I feel. This person can clearly see what you are all about now. We had that in yesterday's reading, right? They can clearly see what you are all about now. Yeah, I feel like maybe that's these two people talking here. Two people that are um, with immature communication, talking flack about you maybe behind your back. This person chose poorly, followed the wrong person. Now they've got to get their pentacles up because they were near broke here. Then this king of pentacles, listen, the king of pentacles, this is a boss business owner, okay? Uh, plus two, this could have been going around around COVID time with the poor health here. But this person, they lost a lot recently. And now with the king of pentacles, they're all about their finances. This is This is the most financially stable king in the deck. So um, this person's going to want to build their finances back up again. I feel like this person um, allowed someone to sabotage this connection, though. I feel like they somebody told a lie about you or talked be about you behind your back. That's what I'm feeling like. And um, here you are out here being intuitive and, and being... Kind of, you're being everything right here. The only thing we don't have here for you is the world card. You're, you're being everything. Um, yeah, this person's upside down. And they kind of feel stuck. Like they've got, they've got a rope wrapped around their ankle here. Like they're stuck upside down somewhere, right? But they've, they're getting clarity here. They're getting enlightened while they hang here i feel like this person kind of hung out and didn't do anything about it and now it it may be too late there's sabotage here some kind of selfishness here and i i don't feel like um i don't feel like this this particular person is out for your money. You know, in other readings, I, I would say that, but I don't pick up on that energy. This person is working really hard to improve their pentacles. And right now, they actually, they have just as much as you do. They've got, they've got nine pentacles here, and you've got nine pentacles here. So it's the connection that was sabotaged. They actually, I feel they see themselves as a pretty good match for you. Let's see. They're burdened by this. 
they should have stood up to somebody. That's what I'm feeling like. They should have stood up to this emperor. Uh, whoever this is, I feel like this is who sabotaged you. Or who sabotaged this connection between you. See, here's your person. There's you over there crying. And here's the one who sabotaged. And I'm looking at this like they feel burdened because they should have stood up. For this connection, they should have stood up against this emperor. I feel like whoever said something to you to, behind your back to sabotage this connection, it could be a, it could be a father, it could be um, maybe an ex-husband, it could be anybody who, it could even be a boss. Um, you know, the emperor is someone who's very large and in charge. Like, this is the head cheese. And what they say usually goes, you know, this is usually also someone who's very trusted, okay? Um, but I feel like these two talk to each other. There was some kind of communication, very immature communication. And I feel like... Like this person, this King of Pentacles energy, they did not stand up to this emperor. They didn't. Look at how they're kind of feeling coward and much smaller than the emperor. They didn't stand up to the emperor. Perhaps they thought that this person was some um, figure of authority. Could be someone's father. But they didn't stand up to somebody when it came to whoever was talking about you. I feel like it was this person here. They didn't stand up to them. And now they're really burdened. Or maybe they have to stand up to them. Maybe they have to. Maybe this is your father and they need to explain something. Emperor energy. I feel like this could be an ex. And I feel like this is your person maybe that we're talking about here. And I feel like they just didn't stand up to somebody. They just didn't. They, they backed down to somebody. They didn't defend you. They, they just um, let this person control the situation, which sabotaged the connection. I feel like, like there was immature communication being said and spoken about you. And I feel like now they're really burdened by the fact that they didn't defend you in this. They, yeah, they didn't stand up to this emperor, whoever that is. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Because really deep down inside, they want to reach out to you. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Sagittarius and Pisces is out here. Um, Aries, Aquarius, yeah, now they want to reach out to you, but they've, you know, they, they didn't stand up to you, they didn't stand up for you, and not only that, but they said some things too, I feel like they said a, a few things that they're carrying around with them now. So there was just, there was a lot of sabotage, a lot of um, trash talk about you, I think, behind your back. And you're actually an empress and a high priestess. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you're actually an empress and a high priestess. So, like, I, I feel like now this person can see that it was just sabotaged by somebody who wanted to control the situation. Do you see my point here? Yeah, and it's making them want to reach out. Any who cancers listen, that's what I've got for this reading today. Um, I do hope this helps. I do, and I hope it resonates with you. If you guys like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow. Um, and until next time, Cancers, take care of you and peace out.